recover a stolen rifle that was taken from a state police cruiser. Thank you for joining us. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. It comes as the man accused of taking it and the car, Timothy Date Gabriel, pleaded not guilty in federal court to charges connected to that theft. Ike Ben David joins us now in the studio with an update on the case, including information we just learned from police. Ike, what can you tell us? Kat and Aaron, Vermont State Police say that the rifle taken from a cruiser earlier this week was found on the side of the road near exit three in Arlington. 29 year old Timothy Gabriel is the man police say is responsible. He was arrested yesterday on Cherry Street in Burlington, despite the case starting in Rutland. Court paperwork shows that the cruiser was found parked with the driver's side window down behind building construction in Rutland City around 7 a.m. on Tuesday. It's assigned and had been parked at the home of Corporal Christopher Loisel, who went off duty a few hours prior to the cruiser being stolen. Police say they continue to investigate how the car was taken, saying that a key was inside the vehicle, but still have not said if the doors were locked. They note VSP policy says all cruisers left unattended must be locked with the windows secured. Police identified Gabriel as a suspect after surveillance photos were released of him holding what appeared to be the stolen rifle. On your screen, you can see a heavy police presence could have been seen on West Street, in West Street Wednesday in connection with the investigation, but no arrests were made then. Gabriel now faces a federal charge of possession of a weapon as a convicted felon. He's being held without bail and state charges. They're also expected. In the studio, Ike Ben David, Channel 3 News. Ike, thank you.